Katika mkutano wa mashirika ya kijamii na wadau wa elimu hii leo jijini Nairobi ilibainika kuwa hakuna ushirikiano kati yao na serikali katika ufanikishaji wa masomo ya gradi ya saba. Kulingana na wadau, sheria inaruhusu kuwepo kwa bodi ya kitaifa ya elimu inayopaswa kuangazia utendakazi wa wizara ya elimu. Under section 5 of the Basic Education Act National Education Board does not exist to date, though it's provided for in the law. Because aside from that, this body also is supposed to advise the Cabinet Secretary on policy issues. And we do not have a good will of the Ministry to actually have a National Education Board because they felt that it could be a very powerful organ that can be able to usurp some of their powers. Na kuhusu uongozi wa shule za upili za awali zitakazo hudumu katika shule za msingi. We are not fearing to go to primary schools. We only say that uh, we are handling different kind of uh, syllabus. So we should not just be lumped together with primary. If the ministry can afford, let them have their own principles and that will provide means for promoting even the teachers who have stagnated in those high schools ikiwa imesalia wiki sita pekee kabla ya shule kufunguliwa mwenyekiti wa wazazi katika kaunti ya Nairobi Jasper Omwega ameeleza changamoto inayokumba wazazi wenye watoto watakaojiunga na gradi ya saba mwakani we should start organizing for and talk about senior schools now so that they can choose specific pathways so that we have schools that can be able to be purely sports either Piwari or visual arts and because we have the various pathways. So it is important that we talk on that and ensure that we have enough of those pathway schools. Harriet Chimea Runinga, Yake 24.